Hi, my name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Today I'm going to tell you how to keep electronics warm when it's freezing while you're camping or adventuring. In this video I'm going to tell you how to keep your electronics warm while camping in freezing temperatures. I'm going to give you a bunch of different methods, least effective to most effective, and then to tell you a little story about working with electronics in extremely cold temperatures. So one of the challenges is your electronics, your GPS, your GoPro, especially your phone, will start failing when it's cold. What is cold? Sub-zero. Some electronics, they don't work well even below freezing temperatures, but boy, you get below zero and you get into the minus 20 to minus 40 range and things really stop working. So first of all, what causes this problem? It's the batteries inside. This doesn't have any changeable batteries, but like my RX100 here, this camera is awesome, but in freezing temperatures, this puny little battery, it just doesn't last. So the first method to keeping your equipment warm so it keeps working and the battery doesn't die in five minutes is just simply to keep it in your jacket. Stuff the, the camera, the GPS, or whatever you need into your outer shell jacket and it will keep it slightly warm. Your body doesn't radiate, radiate out that far, plus that temperature differential from the outside on that shell jacket, it's pretty weak. So that, that's about the lowest effective job. <clears throat> Keeping your camera outside, <laughs> it'll die. The next most effective is in your inner jacket. If you have a zippered pocket, like uh, you're wearing say a fleece and then a shell jacket on top like that, if your inner jacket has a zippered pocket, it is a huge difference. Yes, pull up your jacket, put your camera in there, zip up uh, the inner jacket and then keep going it makes a big big difference to keep your camera working well that inside jacket works super super well uh, the next option is to keep the camera in your outer shell pants i like the outer shell pants because i can get to them cameras much quicker but between the outer shell jacket and the pants i think the shell pants is even less effective than the shell jacket I mean, granted, the camera or your GPS or whatever is right next to your body, but I just I have lots of trouble with it, so it's not that effective, even when your camera's right against you, and it's pretty weak. The more effective way is if you have an outer shell pants and then an inner pant that you can easily get to the zippered pocket without having to take off a harness or whatever. That, again, is much more effective because if you put the camera there, it's around your groin area, where there's a lot of heat radiating out of your body. The next method to keeping all these electronic gizmos warm is to get a neck pouch, like a neck money pouch. There's waist money pouches, but getting a neck bra a necklace pouch that goes into your jacket where you can put your phone or your camera, it is less convenient to get to. Uh, it's a lot more work, but it keeps it right next to your body. You can even put it inside of your base layer and that is much much more effective however it's slower obviously to get to the camera so if something exciting is happening you got to do a lot of fumbling however if your camera is dead it won't really matter or your phone if you're using your phone for videos and pictures it's dead it won't matter so even though the neck pouch is inconvenient your camera working might just offset that inconvenience of messing around with it. I'll also put links below to all the items that I'm talking about in this video. The next step up is to use chemical warmers, either hand or foot warmers, and put them right with your camera. Maybe put the, put the hand warmer with your phone or your camera inside of a Ziploc and then put that in your jacket. And that works if you're going out a day or two maybe three, you can load a bunch of hand warmers and get that going. Do note though that the hand warmers do require oxygen to work to warm up. So if you seal them in a Ziploc, they won't actually work as well. So that is a problem. The next thing to do is to keep the spare batteries 
inside of a glove or mitten. So as you're shooting with your camera and it's marching along and then it poops out, if you have a pouch inside of your glove or mitten, keeping the battery in there is actually a viable option. Now, these mittens, I can sweat, at, I've sweat in them at the South Pole even though it was bleeping freezing. So that was one option, but you have to make sure that there's a pouch inside here so you don't lose the battery. But it definitely does work. Now that's when you're outside of your tent. How about when you're inside of your tent? Well, the first thing is to put your camera and your phone and your GPS and whatever else inside your primary base layer. Putting a cold camera at, that is minus 40 degrees into a Ziploc into your shirt is not pleasant. It'd be like, whoa! So if you're slightly hypothermic, try and warm up the camera another way first, but that gets the camera going. Now in Antarctica and the Arctic, even if I put my camera inside of my armpit, inside of my jacket, it never really warmed up well. It, it takes an hour plus. It's just weakly effective. So instead what I do is I again put whatever electronics I need into a Ziploc and then I put them into my pants and my groin uh, right on uh, my long underwear layer or even inside and it's much more effective. That warms up the camera or your phone or your GPS much quicker but it's really awkward and you're, you're crawling around, you lean over and you crunch it, or it starts to fall down your pants. It's really painful. So yeah, for more than one reason, I'm sure you can imagine. But doing that can warm up your camera much, much quicker. Now the most effective way I've found to warm up all of your electronic gizmos is to use your Nalgene. So what you do is when you're warming up water at night or you're melting snow, get one of these bad boys to the water is just boiling or it's starting to steam so it doesn't steam up your tent completely. Pour the hot water in there, you know, open that bad boy, pour the hot water in there, close the analogy in there. this is critical, and turn it sideways and make sure the lid doesn't leak. This has happened to me multiple times either from lids just wearing out or from ice and just the tiniest little leak. Boy, having a water leak in your sleeping bag, that's no bueno. So you've got this roaring hot water in there. Then you put the neoprene sleeve over the, over the uh, Nalgene bottle. Then you put your electronics inside of the Ziploc. And then you put this all together with your electronics on or as close to on the Nalgene as you can. And then put this all into another waterproof bag and then put it into your sleeping bag or your down parka sleeping bags preferable and then cover it over this is the ultimate technique to keep your electronics warm and warm them up to like 70 or 80 degrees so when you need to vlog at night or you need to run your gps when it's minus 40 and you don't want to kill it with battery the nalgene with the hot water in the ziploc next to each other inside of another waterproof bag like a sea to summit i'll put a link below that is the ultimate trick that you can get your electronics crazy toasty without having to wear them and freeze your keister off that is the ultimate way to do it now at night i keep my electronics all stuffed in a ziploc all stuffed in their waterproof bag in the foot zone of my sleeping bag and that way the electronics are warm so when i wake up and i need to do some more filming in my tent or out at least the electronics are initially warm so that works well now you might have a problem with your headlamp too your headlamp the batteries can die uh, i use the this is the revolt by black diamond I charge the batteries, keep them going as long as I can. The lithium batteries, the Energizer Lithiums, I'll put a link below, are the ultimate. Those work the best in cold temperatures, but they always work better if they're warmed up. Here's a secret trick. At night, don't take your headlamp off and set it outside because eventually you're going to have to get up, turn it on momentarily, and your headlamp's going to be super cold and the battery is going to wear down. Instead, when you're ready to go to sleep, Put your headlamp down 
and on your neck so that you're sleeping there it keeps your headlamp inside the sleeping bag but more importantly when you wake up to you know use a bathroom whatever you grab your headlamp maybe it's around choking you out and the headlamp is not only ready in position but it's been super nice and toasty in your sleeping bag so the batteries last so much longer that is highly highly effective so here's a story about being in antarctica where i was using my nalgene trick and i told you about the the lid leaking is that i filled up my own nalgenes i was doing my testing i i filled up my one nalgene i always make sure there's no ice on the threads i closed that guy bad boy and turned over and it just streamed out onto me i'm like whoa and i took it apart and messed with the threads i literally had that lid fail so although the nalgene trick is very effective in your sleeping bag if i didn't do my check just put it in uh closed it up put it in with the, my phone and put it into my bag it would have poured an entire liter of water into my down sleeping bag in antarctica so this trick is very effective it gets your electronics florida toasty warm but there is a risk i hope you found this video helpful to show you how to keep your electronics warm when it's very cold while you're camping. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please like and comment on my video. And if you found it helpful, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy your cold adventures.